Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing just a regular plane with me in my Erin Condren vertical, and I'm going to be planning for the week of May 11th through May 17th, and I'm going to be using this Positive Vibes Kawaii kit from Sweet Kawaii Design, and I think it's going to be perfect because next week the weather like dips down cold and then it gets hot again and then like it rain possibly and I, yeah, just positive vibes. So let me run through this kit with you. Um, this is the bonus sheet that came with the kit so you've got all that cute deco. And then page one. Page two has your headers. Page three is half boxes, a mix of quarter boxes, that's neat. The weekly schedules and then some more deco. The checklist, which I'm undecided on whether or not I'm using. I mean, they're really cute, but I thought about doing another no checklist week, so we'll see. Page five is full boxes and then some half boxes down here. Same with page six. Page 7 has your icons, typography, some of your date dot covers here. Page 8 has your weekend banner, habit trackers, quarter boxes, full page of half boxes. You've got these little rainbow date covers which are super pretty. And then the bottom washi. So let's get in to laying down part of the kit. I also pulled in this new like watercolor washi that I got from Simply Gilded. The colors don't match the kit like super perfectly, but it's really pretty and I want to use it, so I think we can make it work. But let's get into this. Um, a little while ago on Instagram, I asked if you guys had any questions for me, and I was actually going to use this for last week's plan with me, but I didn't get the questions in time. By the time I was filming because I just I had an opening in my day to film so I filmed a little bit earlier than I had originally planned. So let's see if I can answer these and film <laughs> and plan in my spread all at the same time. It's, it's a 50-50 shot whether or not I can make it work. So um, let me make sure that's not going crooked there. Okay. One of the questions was, have you ever been to Disney? If so, was it magical? Any tips for first timers? And then like a part two of that was, if you haven't been to Disney, which park do you want to visit? Okay. So I have been to Disney World three times and Disneyland once. Uh, the first time I went to Disney World, I was a junior, yeah, junior in high school, and we actually went uh, as like a marching band trip. We played in the pregame show and halftime show of the Outback Bowl, and then did the Disney Parade with the marching band, so that was a really huge trip. It was my first trip to Disney, which, um, looking back at it now, I don't have a lot of super, like, m magical experiences, um, from that standpoint, just because it was a lot of plans set in place by, like, our band directors and adults and just telling us where to go and where we needed to be when, and then, um... I had my first serious high school boyfriend during that time, and things didn't go well during that trip. We had been together two and a half years, and that was pretty much the end of our relationship during that trip, so we fought a lot. Um, so I remember a lot of that. I remember a lot of fighting. I remember a lot of arguing with a lot of people. I remember getting really sick just because I was dehydrated from all the work we had to do. So unfortunately, <laughs> that was my first trip to Disney. And then on the way back from that trip, my grandma had actually passed away. So that is what I came home to when the plane landed, was finding that information out. So that trip, I try like 
I'm thankful for the experience because the experience of actually performing in Disney and all of that was really great. But the memories I have from the trip are not like super special. So the second time I was actually a, I went back with the band. So it would have been four years later I would have gone back. So, oh goodness, I don't remember the years. But four years later, because they did the big band trip every four years, I went back as an instructor. I did color guard in high school, and I, I ended up doing the instructor position after I graduated. And so I went with the team that year. And that one was a little bit more fun because my parents actually went because they were still super involved with the band and helping out. And my brother went and we we were adults so it was just a lot more fun to go from the adult perspective but again as far as like magical disney experiences i i honestly don't remember a super ton from that trip either just because when you're going on like a band trip so much of it is scheduled and planned out for you which is awesome but you don't have a lot of downtime to really like process things and do your own thing. So I will say that. But my husband and I, okay, well my husband and I just went back to Disney World in November. So that's like our freshest trip on our mind. So I have some thoughts on that. But like chronologically I guess going through this. I skipped when I went to Disneyland. I went over, I went there over my 18th birthday. I actually turned 18. I spent the day in the parks there and that was really cool. Like if you can time it up with someone's birthday, I'm telling you wearing that dang happy birthday button from Disney, it's like the most magical thing in the world because Everyone in the park is is supposed to recognize those buttons and tell you happy birthday all day long. It's fantastic. So I am not usually a person that likes the attention like that. But that was actually part of the coolest part of the coolest part of the trip, I guess. Is everyone wishing me happy birthday? Like all these strangers, people in line. Like it was that was really cool. Um they have buttons for like all sorts of things, engagements, anniversaries, birthdays, oh goodness, weddings, like they just, like honeymoons, they have a lot. So if you're going to time it over something, like see if you can time it with someone's like special occasion because that part was really kind of cool. Let me get my dates organized here really fast. And then, um, I actually, oh man, I wish this wouldn't cover up the rainbow or the clouds. But do I have the patience to want to go cut off the corners? I don't, so I'm going to leave this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Do you see how the corners of the 11 box cut off the outline of the clouds? Um, in the past, I've actually gone through and trimmed it. I have zero desire to do that today, so I'm not going to. But yeah, I don't have a lot of memories from that trip. It, it wasn't that it was a bad trip by any means. I actually ended up, when we landed in California, I ended up with a really, really bad, like a lot of tooth pain. And we had to have medication <laughs> sent to a pharmacy near our hotel from the dentist as like some pain meds. And when I got back from the trip, I actually ended up with a root canal. So just being on the plane and all that extra pressure like really screwed with me, unfortunately. So I was on a lot of pain that trip. I was on a lot of pain meds. I don't remember so much of the parks. But anyway, going into our latest trip to Disney, we just went to Disney World in November and we just happened to be there um, on our anniversary so of course we wore buttons because that's like part of the fun of that so we wore buttons but we were there 
a whole week and that was like the perfect time to go because you you have to think about like the timing of your trip. Disney is going to be busy no matter when you go, but it's going to be insane during the summer, insane over holidays, like even though they do really cool Halloween and Christmas type stuff. Like if you're going over a holiday, you just need to understand it's going to be insanely busy and you're going to have to be okay with that. And if you're not, then I would suggest trying to find a different time to go. But the time we went was, um, I think like the second full week of November maybe. And it was like perfect. The weather was perfect. We used the fast passes and we got to ride like every ride that we wanted to ride. It was it was awesome actually so just plan around like the timing if you go in the summer like you're gonna have to know that it's gonna be nuts and think about like spring breaks too because our Kansas spring break is different than uh, Florida spring break and I would imagine California's as well so if you're planning a spring break trip you might just want to make sure that your spring break isn't the same as theirs because I mean it's gonna be nuts anyway because other people from around the country are gonna be flying in for their spring break but you might have a little bit better chance if it's not Florida's spring break you also want to make sure that it's not during the time of an event they do a lot of 5k's and races and like special events things like that um, I am off a day where did I go wrong <laughs> you guys are probably like, uh, Kayla, that is so, so not right. Um, jeez, let me pull all these up. But they do a lot of special events, so unless you want to go during one of those times, just plan ahead that way. This time, we went through a Disney planner, and that was the most amazing thing we have ever done, because every bit of our trip was planned for for us. Our fast pass rides were, we got to pick them, but she did all of the work to reserve them. And like she took care of the reservations for the resort we stayed at. She planned our meals. <laughs> it was amazing to have someone do all of that for you. And because we stayed at one of the Disney resorts, it was the most easiest process to get to and from the airport. And it was just super nice because they took care of your luggage and everything. So you, I would highly consider going through a Disney planner just because they know all the tips and tricks already. And that was perfect for me. Like a vacation is where I don't have to think about anything. And that trip was amazing because that's exactly what happened. Like we didn't have to think about anything. Um, let me think if I want to do a checklist or not. I kind of don't want to and because I'm using a Kawaii kit it's going to be really easy to get away without doing one so I've got enough planned next week I think that I, like, I really could go without. Let's do it. No checklist this week. Let me put down the bottom washi. I don't know what color that I want to use. I'm going to do the, uh, I'm going to do the, <laughs> the teal. <laughs> um, we actually had an incident at the end of our trip where our confirmation was saying that we were supposed to check out on one day and that lined up with everything our Disney planner had sent us as far as confirmation numbers and our flights. And the resort had actually called us on our next to last day and was like, you haven't checked out yet and you are set to check out. Like, if you don't come pick up your things, we're going to take them out of your room for you. That was, that was horrifying. So I actually was able, I mean, it did ruin our day, but I mean, we got compensated heavily for it. So it, it all worked out, but I was able to call our Disney planner and tell her what was going on and she was like go enjoy your last day do not worry about this I will get it taken care of for you and that's exactly what she did like she took care of everything 
um, on on her end for us, and that was that was honestly that was simply amazing. So I I guess that's kind of why I'm saying do a Disney planner. Uh, I don't know that it really like cost us any extra, aside from like we had to do the resort and the meal plan and things like that. So and I mean you didn't have to do the meal plans, but we just chose to because it was the easiest. Let's go into my sidebar. One last thing I'll say about Disney is that their apps are pretty amazing. I'm trying to figure out which of these colors I want to do, but uh, their app for navigating the park is pretty awesome. I know I'm not in frame, I'm sorry. And their app for like the fast pass rides, because you get a certain amount of fast passes a day that you can like pre book and then you can keep like once you've used those three I think it was you can then sign up for a new fast pass so if you use all of your fast passes first thing in the morning you've all day to try and get on other rides and that's exactly what we did and it worked out perfectly so if that is what you're into you can definitely, I wouldn't say cheat the system, but use your resources wisely. Alright, I had two more questions asked. Um, I think that's, like, all I have to say about Disney. I love it. I love going as an adult. I didn't go as a child, necessarily, because in high school you're, you're still a child, but, um, I really enjoyed going as an adult. <laughs> But if you have any other questions about Disney specific, let me know and I'll I'll do my best to answer them, but I just don't have I don't know, I can't think of anything else to add right now. Um one of the questions was, are you having a boy or a girl? And um I've already talked about that in my other videos and then posted about the reveal on Facebook or Instagram. And I am having a boy. So, we are pretty excited now that, especially now that we've announced and everyone knows and I don't have to stress out about, oh my gosh, did I just say, like, did I use a pronoun, did I talk about, <laughs> like, he, uh, so yeah, I'm excited that it is out now so I don't have to keep hiding it, um, but yeah, we're super excited, so. There's that. And then the last one was, do you like to travel? That is a loaded question <laughs> for me. Let me find my schedule. Sorry, guys, if you can keep hearing me yawn. My goodness. I'm going to try and remember to edit them all out, but I've just been yawning away this afternoon. It's kind of cloudy now. I think the rain is going to roll in. So... That part kind of stinks. Um, do I like to travel? I kind of touched on it a little bit with Disney. I enjoy going on vacations where things are planned for me and I'm told like what to do. I enjoyed the cruise around Hawaii because a lot of it, like we got to pick our excursions, but then like it was scheduled for us for the most part. And I really did enjoy that part of it quite a bit. And I think I'm going to follow what I did last. Well, I can't quite do that unless I bump up. I can use another skinny washi instead of using a big piece. And then maybe I'll be able to fit a half box there. And a full, like, quote box at the top. Um, oh gosh, I probably should have finished my thought before I went into another thought. I am not, like, a super spontaneous type person. Um, not knowing plans and schedules and things like that really freaks me out. But sometimes I do, <laughs> if that makes sense. Sometimes I enjoy road trips. Other times I do not enjoy road trips. So really it just depends on the mood and if I can talk myself into enjoying myself. I don't mind flying. I 
could probably do without another cruise except I really do want to like cruise the Alaska, do like the Alaskan cruise, things like that. But there are places in the world that I want to travel to. But I will tell you as an introvert, traveling zaps the life out of me. <laughs> Five to seven days is probably like the max. I think if we had spent any more time at Disney, if we were there for quite a while, but if I had spent any more time, it, it would have gone over and I wouldn't have had as much fun as I did. And, um, but then if you go like too short, then sometimes it's not always as fun because you don't get to do as much. So I do enjoy traveling in the right conditions if I'm well prepared, if, if, if that is helpful. Um, trying to think of what full box I want to use so that I know which color half box to use. I think I'll use this Storms Don't Last Forever. I think that that's a really cute one, especially to use towards the front of the week. So I want to use one of the dark teal half boxes. I will have enough room at the top to sneak in this full box. Yeah, just like that. So I, I mean, I wish it was down a little bit more, but... Who is deciding to mow right now? So I apologize if you can hear the lawnmower in the background. Actually, I know for a fact you're going to be able to hear the lawnmower in the background, but really? Dang it, could they not, do they not know what I'm doing right now? <laughs> um, shoot. Okay, so let's go into the week. I have been really enjoying, like, I know what my layout should be like, so, I'm going to put down my bills due first and then I'm going to kind of bounce back and forth through my week. So um, I have two bills due so let me get those down and I think I'll use the George bill dues because I've already got that teal color in there and I think it matches George. Maybe it's a little bit more blue and he's a little bit more green but it'll be okay. So I'm going to put those down. And then I have been really enjoying putting my workout down at the bottom with a half box and that has worked out really well. So normally my rest days are supposed to be Fridays and Sundays, but I think our plan is to be out of town on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm going to move all my workouts to Monday through Friday and I still want to try and keep up my three mile walk on Sunday when we get back, but... I just am not sure <laughs> how I'm going to feel after sitting in a car for a while, so I'm, I'm not going to be too hard on myself if for some reason that doesn't work, but I'm going to use an Ernie sticker on the right side, so I'm going to flip that so the flowers aren't in the way. And then some of the colors have the flowers at the top, so it's just going to depend on the day because I still want to color block even if I'm not using the checklist. So I'm going to put a half box down Monday through Friday. And then I'm not going to put them at the bottom of Saturday and Sunday. If I get home on Sunday and really feel like going for a walk, which I may just like stretch out, then I'll, I'll write it in somewhere maybe, but I, I'm not going to put it down. At the top, I have been using a quarter box for watering the plants. My one snake plant, Severus. Um, but I have enjoyed using a quarter box for that, so I've been doing that on Wednesdays and Thursdays, and so far, like, it's looking pretty good. So I think what I'm doing is working out, and it's the right amount, and if he starts to look a little sad, then I'll have to reevaluate what I'm doing. 
but for right now that seems to be working out for us. So I'm going to put that at the top. Friday is I think my payday, so I'm going to go ahead and use a quarter box for that. And then at this time my husband is planning on doing a coach course for skydiving Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The weather kind of looks weird so I don't know how that affects it because you have to be able to do skydives and prove like that you can be a coach. So I don't know what that's going to look like. I'd like to write it down in here. But I'm just afraid to like put that down right now and then have things change. But if I put it on a half box, then I can move things around or switch up what I'm going to put in there. So I'm definitely not going to write on the boxes, but I want to put them in there in case that is exactly what he does. I, w I want to mark that he's there all day doing that instead of working. So I'm going to put those three in and then probably use a skydiving sticker. I love the ones from Little Pity Paper, but I don't know if I'll use them for this day or just put an airplane. Probably put an airplane just so I can take it off easier. And then, I'm not really sure, and now I'm like, well, why did I do the to-do headers? So I'll probably switch those out, but maybe off camera. So, since I'm, I didn't do a checklist, um, at this point it might be easier just to go day by day. So, Monday, um, like I said, work out at the end of the day. We actually have, like, an a phone call appointment for um I don't I don't know exactly what to call it but my OB had us sign up for this maternity navigator program at the hospital that I'll be delivering at and it sounds like they just kind of go through like your different options for like birthing classes and what the hospital itself provides or offers. So um, we're having that phone call, our first one, Monday night. So definitely need to mark that down. Forgot I had these cute little quarter boxes. So I might use this one up top to cover up that line. And then, that's a big space to leave open, but I can't think of anything that I normally do on Monday. Like I said, like, pre-planning the week when I'm not using a checklist is really tough because I don't really know what plans are happening yet. So, I think what I'll do, though, is put... Go ahead and put a quarter box in here. And then I still have room to write in between. And then that's three things that I can do throughout the day, whether that's like cleaning something or whatever, I can put in icons. So Tuesday, I go get coffee in the morning, so I wanna leave room for that. And then I go grocery shopping. I use a quarter box for that, so. Probably leave open that whole space right there. And just cover up this line with a quarter box. At the bottom of the page, we are going to be going to dinner at my dad's. So, but I don't think I have a functional full box. No, I just have decorative full boxes. So, I will probably leave, I like, guess, space. And I'll use maybe like this, and then I'll write in dinner and like our stuff at my dad's there. Yeah, 
Uh, I think, because that's about the size of a half box anyway, so I'll just use that space for dinner. When's, oh shoot, but see, maybe I should have done <laughs> a checklist, because now I don't have anywhere to put down $2 Tuesday and taking out the trash. That's okay. For this week, it's okay to be different. We just, we don't need a checklist, I guess. We're just probably going to forget to do a lot of things. It's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my 24 weeks sticker from Let's Plan It. And I need to pull out the 24 weeks sticker from Sweet Quite Design. I think I'll just put that there. And then this one. Oh, I just pinched myself with my tweezers. I'll just put up here. I am going to be planning on doing my plan with me that day, filming it at least. So let me grab out that box with the computer desk. Just because I need to have things filmed, edited, and uploaded before we leave so that it doesn't go up super late. There we go, and I don't have anything else planned for Wednesday, so I think, though, that a full box is going to not cover up the right amount of space that I need, but we're going to need to try anyway. There we go. That'll be alright for Wednesday. Thursday, I will need to edit the plan with me, and I'm going to upload a bonus video, but those are also things that I could put in my print pression because it's kind of like my social media planning one. So, let's do a full box up top because I haven't done that. And then, honestly, I could probably even do another full box like split the space in between which I think is gonna look a little funny until I actually like put in the writing and the icons and stuff but I think that that'll actually look really nice once it's all filled in Friday I am actually thinking and considering about spending the day at my school that day, uh, kind of like closing and cleaning everything up. I don't know if I'll have access to my room, but it's kind of my plan right now. So let's plan on it. I'm going to use one of these cute little banners just to separate out some of that space because I want to use a full box here. Let me put on a don't forget sticker. I'm going to need to pack and I want to pack my switch so that I can buy turnips on Sunday morning. <laughs> put my switch down here as part of my don't forget. So I also need to pack my bags. So I'll probably put like pack my bags and then the switch so I don't forget that. I think I'll just put a quarter box in to cover up the lines and then I'll have a space to write. That way that space is pretty functional. Saturday, I don't know what our plans are. So I'm just going to put a couple things down. Like I think I want to put either space to drop off the dogs and then get coffee. Cause if we're gonna drive Out of town like we'll definitely be doing that so maybe that'll be enough space to put in a dog sticker to drop off our dogs sticker for coffee or vice versa is that maybe straight I don't think so put in a quarter box for driving to Wichita and then as far as our plans, I don't know. So I'm just going to slap some stickers down as placeholders. And then I can change things out as needed. We were supposed to go down for haircuts, but I, I don't think the salon will be open up by then. 
So, unfortunately, that kind of li limits our plans, but that's okay. And then I guess I'm not using the weekend banner because I forgot and now I don't really want to move a whole bunch of things around. I already need to redo the headers off, off camera, so I think that will be fine though. And then Sunday, I will probably put in a half box on here even though it's not for working out, but like I said, when I get home... I might decide I want to go on a walk, or I might decide that I want to be lazy and don't want to do anything. So I could definitely just write that in. I need a space to pick up the dogs, but I also want to use a quarter box to drive home. But I was hoping that I could not, that I could avoid that. I didn't want two white spaces of like written spaces back to back, but that's okay. So we can use <laughs> this, I might use this lens, so there's no place like home. Even though we're not going to be home, we'll be coming home, so I feel like it's kind of fitting. And we could still put a half box at the top and then leave that white space, so. I kind of like not using a checklist. It just, it challenges me when I'm pre-planning like this so that I get everything in there. But I think that that's super cute as far as like the colors and I really actually do like the washi. I'm glad I chose that. And yeah, so all I need left to do is to pull out some icons. So... I'm trying to also watch the weather because I need to go grab the mail. So I might do film the part with the icons a little bit later today or tomorrow. So, anywho, I'll be back. Alright guys, uh, spoiler, it is actually <laughs> two days later and I'm finishing filming this. Um, yesterday was Friday and Thursday evening and Friday I have just felt so like low energy, like I feel good, but I just don't have the energy to do much. So it's Saturday morning right now, I'm gonna get ready and, and finish this out. Um, sitting on it, I really don't wanna take the time to go through and switch out those headers, so they're just gonna stay as a to-do, so. Um, I have so many icons <laughs> sitting out today, and um, I'm just gonna put them down and That'll be the end, so I will speed you guys through this part. Okay guys, so as you might have seen, I had a couple of walk stickers because I can't quite remember but I have like cardio walk written down here and then I have walk written down for Thursday. So I I don't remember what they were but I tried to put in those icons and they just, I don't know, they just weren't fitting the way I wanted them to fit. So that's okay, I don't, I'll just write it in. Um, this is going to look really awesome by the time everything is put together. So I'm, I'm really excited for this spread. I think it looks really nice. I just now realized that I have my new PR freebie from Sweet Quiet Design and it's downstairs. So I need to go grab that. 
Um, but yeah, other than that, that this is it. I'm kind of loving working in more typography into my spread as kind of like headers. Like especially these little workout stickers. I, I don't know, I think they look really cool in this spread. And then using like the groceries and payday, um, the upload sticker from Little Pity Paper. But yeah, um, stickers that are not Sweet Cry Design, Fox and Cactus, Little Pity Paper, Fox and Cactus, all three of those airplanes are, Cricut Paper Co., Let's Plan It, Little Pity Paper, The Prancing Doxy, Little Pity Paper. I think that that's it. Everything else is Sweet Kawai Design and then the washi is simply gilded. So let me go grab my freebie and I will be right back. So here are my freebies. I do PR for a little pity paper and you can use my code Kayla15 to get 15% off my order and snag this freebie. And then here is my new freebie from Sweet Quiet Design. I really absolutely love it. So um, you can use my code Kayla10 to get 10% off your order plus this freebie. So let me know your thoughts on my new freebie because I love it and I hope everyone else does too. But that's it guys. That's all I have for this week. So I hope you enjoyed the plan with me and I will see you next week. Bye guys.